duty here. I have a purebred uh, dachshund here. He's 12 weeks old. He was stolen this morning, but he's now back safely at the store. We do have an update from an hour ago. One of the Sharpays that was stolen walked out in the last hour with its new family. They saw that dog on TV. They had been looking at that dog last week, and they said, we are taking no chances. They came in and bought their Sharpay. But seriously, who steals 13 dogs? It is not child's play, and now four teenagers are facing felony charges. Relief and gratitude from this pet store owner. All 13 of his puppies are back after a 101 Dalmatian style adventure overnight. We've had dogs stolen before in the past, and you don't quite know what happens with them after they leave here. I noticed the glass was broke. And Mike works next door at Dean's Carpet, and every morning at 6:30, he strolls by to see the birds. The birds were still there, but the fish were still there. I mean, the turtles were all there, but just I didn't see the dogs because they were they were on the side as you go through. But Mike did see the shattered front door, glass on the sidewalk, and the second door shattered as well. He called police, who called Bill Sturgeon, the owner. Prior to his arrival, one of the officers observed several individuals, one of which was carrying a, a puppy. A foot pursuit ensued. These four teenagers, including a brother and sister, were arrested and booked on felony charges. These pups are worth several hundred dollars apiece. Police got another tip here on Lake Avenue when they say one of the suspect's grandmothers walked outside announcing she had several puppies in her home that did not belong to her. One of the animal control officers arrived with a handheld device that can track microchips, and he lined them up and, and scanned them, and, and the dogs all came back to the actual owner. Investigators and the store owners say that often when puppies are stolen, they're sold in other states online. But in this case, it's not clear what this quartet of alleged dog nappers had in mind. They've only been gone a couple hours. Um, you, you know, a little shaken up, a little nervous. Uh, it's to be expected. They're, you know, just, just babies. They are just babies and cute babies indeed. Bill and his staff have been overwhelmed here today. He's such a popular business owner. It's been wall to wall people in the store all night, many asking uh, if the dogs are available. Some of these dogs just arrived yesterday. They need to be checked out by a vet on Thursday. And then, yes, they're available. We're live at Bill's Pet and Aquarium in Manchester, Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.